Greetings and welcome to Armored Core Requiem, the series where I take on player submitted builds and optimize them to the best of my abilities. The process will consist of me taking a player's build either from the video's comments or the Requiem workshop in the Xbox Fight Club Discord server, then upgrading it live on stream. After that, I will make the video going over the original build and the upgraded version, then closing it all off with a final PvP test in where a volunteer will pilot the original build and I will pilot Requiem. All is said, enjoy. Greetings and welcome to the final episode of Requiem Week. Thank you all once again for 2,500 subs. It means more to me than you could ever know. And if the channel reaches 3,000 subs, we'll be doing a Reforge Week next. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this build. Alrighty, this build, courtesy of our friend Ronin, a viewer of the channel, as well as a fellow Armor Core content creator doing very cool stuff over on his playthroughs. Feel free to check him out. Links in the description below. But yes, he has given us this build, which is a recreation from the Tetrapod AC that uh, Nightfall takes out in the cinematic trailer for Armor Core 6, which is a close range, highly aggressive, high stagger tetrapod AC. For our primary weapons, we have the Shotgun Holderman, the little brother to the Zimmerman Shotgun, very good for close range, high stagger buildup at a very fast rate, as well as the Explosive Thrower, also super good for close range, high stagger and damage buildup, has two attacks, horizontal and vertical. The vertical goes much further, although it is charged, so it takes a little longer to deploy, and it does not scale with a uh, melee spec, so it cannot be boosted by Bastu Arms, but still, doesn't really need it is goaded on its own. And that is because its reload is only 3.1 seconds, making this very spammable and very, very tough. For shoulder mounts, we have a primary, the Grenade Launcher Dizzy, which is very similar to the Grenade Cannon Earshot, only that it has a 2,000 damage difference. This is 2,000 damage weaker, as well as it has a two second faster reload. And then lastly, we have the SUQ5 Pulse Shield, which makes for a very fine parrying shield as its IG stats are very high, as well as it has a one second iteration. So it means you can parry a great flurry of like missiles, machine guns, all the good stuff. Stuff. For frame parts, we have the Melander head, core and arms, and the Veril legs. With our current instrument, we have 11,600 AP, 1,100 defenses, 2,300 stability, and 296 boost speed, with a quick boost of 283. For inner parts, for boosters, we have the SPD, a very solid booster for more natural thrust, natural evasion type builds like kites and so on. Although for a build like this, definitely not getting great use. For FCS, we have the Abbott, very good for close range. And for generators, Santai, the best gen for high amounts of capacity as well as natural regeneration. Although with our current EN load, our regeneration won't be the fastest. Not too bad, but definitely not the fastest. And for expansion, Pulse Armor. All right, for playstyle, get close, go into hover mode and just spam Holderman into explosive throw over and over. You can either wait until stagger break to use our uh, Dizzy or just spam it outside of stagger. Probably best outside of stagger just for pure DPS as well as mix in a couple kicks and all that good stuff. And of course, parry whenever the opportunity arrives. Yes, this is the original build. Let's take it into the forge. And here we are, Requiem. For the primary weapons, I ended up changing out the Holderman to the Bazooka Zwanji, as it fits with our more explosive base weapon set, as well as it is another single fire high staggering weapon in its role and our build, and it gives us a little more range than we would have with a shotgun. And we're not missing too much DPS, as its reload is only 3.4 seconds, making it very spammable indubitably. Next, keeping the explosive thrower and upgrading the Dizzy to the Earshot. The 2 second reload time is nice, but the 2000 more damage is also pretty damn sweet. And we don't have to worry about switching it so that's kind of nice and then lastly keeping the q5 pulse shield for our frame parts going the viral head the 48 core the tang arms and the viral legs with our current assortment of parts we have 13,000 ap 1200 defenses 2400 stability and 262 boost speed with a quick boost of 319 for inner parts for boosters we have the coral which is super good for a build like this as it's natural thrust upwards thrust and quick boost as well as reload time it's very high allowing us uh, heavy lands to get into the sky especially on tetra allows us to get into the sky without burning much energy if we're not using the kick tech and of course start hovering getting the height advantage and all that stuff especially with explosives very good to get the height advantage so we have more splash damage if we hit the ground and of course with having max quick boost thrust pairing that with our hover quick boost we're gonna have some pretty damn evasive uh, dodges indubitably for fcs going with the ocellus as that is our new effective range as we're gonna have to make some pretty good use as of our explosive thrower so might as well go all out in that range alternatively you could run the vault and be perfectly fine and for generator you can either run santai as our ian load is fine enough to have a good regen with it or you can of course run coral and for expansion keep in pulse armor all right for playstyle exactly the same as before get close go and hover and then spam out all of your uh missiles and stuff like that now we have enough stagger to actually you know proc stagger on this boy to use our ear shot for direct hit so that's always very nice mix in the kicks parry whenever but yeah just spam whatever you have whenever you have it yes this is requiem me and my buddy should now be doing the pvp test 
enjoy. All right, all right, all right. Trailer Tetra Man. Mr. Bomba Tetra. Bomba Tetra. Back to the desert. Drip, drip. Oh, this place looks familiar. This is all the same, dude. Let's see how the dizzy compares to the ear shot. Two seconds and 2,000 damage difference. Stagger, let's go. Natty. Cole Sam. Oh, bombers. Alrighty, and that concludes the end of the Requiem week. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have a build you want me to take a look at, feel free to leave it in the comments. Big thanks to my buddy for helping me out with all the PvP testing. I very much appreciate it. And yeah, again, thank you all for 2,500 subs. It means a lot. As well as I want to let you all know that I'll be posting a channel update video discussing the future of the channel, all the content I want to take a look at, get y'all's feedback on it, as well as the future and the fate of Requiem itself. All this said, you have yourself a very good one. Peace. Chica -chica.